Hello, my name is Bumi Banjo and you're welcome to The Maximum. This platform is all about equipping. Equipping you to live your life to the max. Maximize your potential and fulfill your God-given destiny. I'm happy to journey with you. Are you ready for the journey? Well, let's go. the maximum we begin with the abundant life series it's going to be inspiring it's going to be life transforming and I want you to be part of it all right so let's go I don't know about you but I've never met anyone who decides I want to live a mediocre life cluster kind of life a life that does not come with any benefits you know but I've always asked myself the question what kind of life do I want to live and I'm sure you've asked yourself the same question I want to put it to you that God wants us to live an abundant life. Let's look at the book of John chapter, chapter 10 and verse 10. In the Passion Translation, listen to what Jesus said. He said, a thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy. But I have come to give you everything in abundance. Not some things, not most things, but everything in abundance. More than you expect. What's your expectation? Jesus said, I'm here to do even much more than that. He said, I want to give you life in its fullness until you overflow. It's not a life that you're going to have to just make do with, but a life that you have much more than you could ever ask or imagine. That's the kind of life that God wants to give us. It's an abundant life. Abundance is defined as an extremely plentiful or over sufficient quantity or supply extremely plentiful or over sufficient quantity or supply other words for abundance include ample bountiful copious generous heavy rich prosperous so how can i live an abundant life today we're going to be looking at that okay so i want to start by saying everything has a source everything has a source right a space or a place where it originates where it stems from where it comes from a faucet may give water but the water is coming from the faucet not because the faucet is the source but the faucet is a channel the water probably came from a river the river itself came out of an ocean so everything has a source you and i came from god right it's the same thing with abundance the bible says in the book of john he says, everything was made by God and there was nothing made that was not made by him. In him was life and that life was the life of men. Okay, so abundance has a source. God is the source of abundance. So to live the abundant life or the prosperous life we're talking about, the productive life we're talking about, uh, you must be connected to the source. The Bible says in the book of John that everything that you and I see and that we don't even see was made by God. There was nothing made that was not made by God. Abundance is God's idea. In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible, the Bible talked about God creating man and woman and then God blessing them and God said, be fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it. That is an empowerment for abundance. So God delights in abundance. The Bible says in the book of 3 John chapter 1, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. This is talking about prosperity, body, soul, and spirit. God wants us to abound, to prosper in every way. He is the source of abundance. Listen to this in Psalm 36 verse 8. Psalm 36 verse 8, the English Standard Version says, They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. Ah, the river of God's delights. Speaks about abundance at its best, right? So I want you to know that God wants you and I to abound onto every good work in every area of our lives. Abundance in our relationship with God, abundance in our relationship with others, abundance in our minds, in our creativity, uh, having a 
fruitful and a creative, a productive thought life, abundance to make witty inventions, abundance of creativity and innovation, abundance in originality and robust imagination, making us into world shakers and history makers, all to the glory of God, you know. <laughs> abundance of wealth and the ability to learn to nations and not to borrow, abundance of skill and expertise, the dexterity and the ability to be adept at what we do, abundance in our health, our physical body, you know, that our body maintains the equilibrium that is required to fulfill the purpose and the intention of God for our lives so that we can live our lives here on earth to the full, abundance in our relationship with others because our circle of influence will matter to our destiny, just abundance in every way. That's God's desire for us. So I want you to know today that the source of abundance is God. And I also want you to know that God empowers us. God is not only the source of abundance, he also empowers you and I to live an abundant life. When he gives us something, he wants us to steward that thing in a responsible manner. So if he's given us abundance, if he's blessed us to live a life of abundance, he's not gonna leave us wondering how do we live this life. He empowers us to be able to live the abundant life. You know what? Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 says, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers as it is this day. He has empowered you and I. Everything we need to live an abundant life, God has already put it in us. So whether it's the intelligence, the brilliance, the thought life, the kind of perspective we need to live an abundant life, God has already empowered us. He's given us the power to get wealth, the ability to get wealth, the capacity, the capability to get wealth. <laughs> wealth, right now I mean abundance in every area. You can be wealthy in your health, right? They say health is wealth, right? You can be healthy in your thought life, the way you process things, the, the perspective you have, your outlook to life. It can be healthy conversations that you have, abundance in every area. We've been empowered. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 19, I'm reading the ESV version, it says, everyone also to whom God has given wealth and possessions and power to enjoy them. Guess what? He's even given us the power to enjoy abundance. Don't let anybody fool you and tell you that God does not want you to be rich. He's given us, the Bible says, all things richly to enjoy the power to enjoy them and to accept his lot and rejoice in his toil. He says, this is the gift of God. Mm, I doff my heart to God Almighty, the giver of all abundance and the one who empowers us to live in abundance, right? James chapter one, verse 17. I can go on with so many scriptures in the Bible talking about how God has empowered us to live an abundant life. Look at the amplified version of James 1, 17. It says, every good thing given and every perfect gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of lights, the creator and sustainer of the heavens, in whom there is no variation, no rising or setting, which means he's not going to change his mind about what he has decided regarding you and I concerning abundance. If he said he wants us to prosper in every good work, prosper in our thoughts, in our minds, prosper in our body, prosper in our spirits, in our relationship with God, live an, a, a life of abundance, of joy, of peace, of faith, of grace, he means this. He's not going to change his mind. That's what he means by no, no rising or setting, no variation or shadow cast by his turning, for he is perfect and never changes. His mind will not change on abundance. His mind will not change on how much he has empowered us to live that life of abundance. He has already spoken it and it's going to come to pass. So, this is just a way of letting you know God wants you and I to live an abundant life. Sometimes we live abundant life in one area, right? Abundance of life in one area, and we don't live an abundance of life in another. Somebody says, oh, I'm brilliant, and then they graduate and they can't get a job. Or oh, abundance of life in one area, you desire to get married, and now you're a certain age and, and you're not yet exhibiting what you thought. I want you to know, though it tarry, wait for it. Because once God has spoken, every other person is a latecomer, right? <laughs> you can't even convince yourself that it's not going to come to pass because when God has spoken, you can take it to the bank. So I want to encourage you today, if you want to live an abundant life, stay connected to the source. Stay connected to the source of abundance. 
His name is Jesus Christ. I want to introduce him to you. He's talking at your heartstrings even as I've been speaking. He wants to know you more. He wants you to give your life to him. He wants you to follow him. He wants to lead you to the place of abundance. You know, many times when we're broke, we go, <sighs> that's natural because many times we expect that we should have the money to do the things that we want to do and it frustrates us not having that. That's just an example. But in many more areas, we sigh out of lack. But God doesn't want that to be our lifestyle. He wants us to live a lifestyle of abundance, a life of abundance, a life that overflows, uh, a life that blesses others. I want to pray with you if that's you. And I pray today that God Almighty will forgive your sins. By the power and blood of Jesus, he will cleanse you of all unrighteousness, that he will make you brand new, and he will write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, in Jesus' name. If that's you, you, you like what you see and you want us to continue, please subscribe to this channel. I love you guys and I'll see you on part two of the Abundant Life series.